this problem from friction can really boost your concepts in engineering mechanics and it was asked in the year 2015 in the university of pune here this particular force p has to be calculated and which is just enough to move this 300 newton weight block up the plane it's a very interesting solution i want all of you to watch this video right till the end so here we go determine the horizontal force p needed to just start moving the 300 newton crate up the plane that means in this direction how much force should be applied or how much force p should be applied so that it just starts moving up the plane right just starts it is a case of limiting friction and we can do this very easily the first thing is if it starts moving in the upper direction just okay then the friction obviously will be in the sort of downward direction and that's the normal reaction from the inclined plane to the block here it is wonderful the next thing to do is to resolve these two forces into the x and y component now f f cos 30 and this component is in front so that's sine component f sine 30 wonderful in the same fashion if this is r this over here is going to be r sine 30 and this is r cos 30 always remember the component in front of this angle let me zoom in the component in front of the angle is the sine component okay and the one remaining is the cos here also this is 30 degree in front of it we have this component it is the sine component wonderful okay sir now let's go ahead it is a case of limiting friction and whenever we talk about limiting friction we are going to use this formula of f s max okay f s max is going to be equal to mu s times of r okay sir how to approach the approach is very simple go for summation of all the forces in x direction is equal to zero okay sir this is to the right take it as positive this is to the left negative this is to the left negative write them down sir uh, it's going to be plus p minus f cos 30 minus f cos 30 anything else r sin 30 again negative minus r sin 30 so sir we can see as many as three variables p f and r what do we need sir we need to find p so take p to the lhs of the equation and write down the remaining stuff this is going to be equal to f cos 30 plus r sine 30 let's say this is our equation number one and once we achieve the values of r and f we can put it over here to get the value of p okay right second equation of equilibrium let's apply it is summation of all the forces in the y direction equal to zero now just start observing all the forces in the y direction here it is so this is downwards negative sir this is upwards positive this is downwards negative here we go let's start there with this 300 newton so minus 300 minus f sine 30 minus f sine 30 plus r cos 30 plus r cos 30 okay for the equilibrium case it is equal to zero and uh, can you calculate the value of r from this equation you surely can let me give you a method to do that here it is you know the maximum value of friction is mu s into r based on this logic mu s has been given as 0 0.3 yes sir so we are going to simply put this value 0 f is going to be equal to let me write it over here f is going to be equal to 0 0.3 r we can do it this way so here it is we'll take minus 300 to the right hand side it will become positive let me write this r cos 30 first of all here we go r cos 30 what else sir? minus f sin 30 so minus f is nothing but 0.3 r let me write it this way 0.3 r times of how much is sin 30 sir sin 30 is nothing but 0.5 it's very simple and this is going to be equal to positive 300 now if you observe carefully there is one equation and one unknown what yes sir that unknown happens to be r 
so we can take r as common and the stuff remaining inside will be let me just write this r this is going to be cos 30 is you know very well this is 0 0.866 what else sir this is going to be negative 0 0.3 times 0.5 is equal to 300 all that is left in the problem is simply the math r can be computed very easily let me get the calculator out where it is here it is okay so uh 0 0.3 into 0.5 sir 0 0.3 uh 0 0.3 into 0.5 here it is and a 0 0.866 0 0.866 minus answer answer equal to this much wonderful and uh, there should be one more bracket bar bracket which i should have placed so 300 divided by answer 300 divided by answer uh, this is what you get 418.9 approximately equal to 419 that is the value of r that we are getting 419 newtons don't forget to place the units 419 newtons okay now once you've got this value 419 put it over here and get the value of friction so let me just place a comma friction will be equal to 0 0.3 times of r where is the calculator into answer into 0.3 this is what you get 125.69 that is 125.7 okay here we go 125.7 and uh, one more thing now simply put these two values into this equation so p is going to be finally equal to 125.7 cos 30 okay cos 30 wonderful plus r sin 30 plus uh, sir sin 30 we know very well how much is it sir it is 0 0.5 okay just do the math this is going to be very simple equal to the final value that we are going to get is this here we go 125.7 into cos 30 this is what you get plus 419 times 0 0.5 close the bracket hit enter 318.35 is the force that you need to apply over here so that the block just starts to move up the plane just starts to move up the plane so the answer is 318.35 newtons let me write it 318.35 newtons that's the final answer